the 16th century Portuguese ship, Flor de Lomar, embarked on a voyage carrying a cargo of immense wealth obtained from the East. This treasure-laden journey was filled with anticipation and grandeur as the ship aimed to transport its valuable cargo back to Portugal. The East held a trove of exotic spices, precious gemstones, silks, and other luxurious goods that were highly sought after in Europe during that era. However, destiny took an unexpected turn when the ship encountered a violent storm at sea. The relentless forces of nature battered the Flor de la Mar, pushing it into a struggle for survival amidst the raging waves. Despite the crew's valiant efforts, they were unable to navigate their way through the tempestuous waters. The ship's fate was sealed as it succumbed to the might of the storm, sinking tragically off the coast of Sumatra. Fast forward to the present day. Treasure hunters and historians are fascinated by the allure of Flor de la Mar's riches. This, this battle really marked the beginning of the end for, for the Portuguese domination of the uh, Oriental spice trade. Um, Europe's always had this passion for uh, goods from the East, you know, pepper particularly, but uh, lots of other spices, mace, nutmeg, cloves, and uh, other things that the East has to offer. Rumors suggest that it holds great wealth in gold, precious gems, and artifacts from the East, and it's worth more than a billion dollars at today's value. Despite many attempts, the actual location of the shipwreck and its treasure has remained elusive. Various obstacles, including treacherous underwater conditions and legal disputes, have hindered the successful recovery of the artifacts while some valuable items have been found over the years. The bulk of the rumoured treasure continues to be the stuff of legend and speculation. <laughs>